The Sonic the Hedgehog series is known for its colourful visuals and upbeat tunes as we race through various stages at breakneck pace with everyone's favourite blue hedgehog. While most of these environments are light-hearted and relaxing to experience, there have been a handful of stages over the years that moved away from the vibrant, happy feel we are accustomed to and into darker territory. These stages are sometimes creepy, scary even, and feel somewhat out of place with Sonic's usual design. In this video, we once again take a look at the darker side of these games, with a rundown of the creepiest Sonic stages of all time. At a first glance, there's nothing all that unsettling about Sandopolis Zone. Sonic explores the interior of a pyramid, which feels a little eerie during Act 2, as there are ancient carvings on the wall and torches burning in the background. However, the one element that makes this particular act of this particular stage scary to many people is the inclusion of ghosts. A small ghost or two will appear during certain segments of this stage and float hauntingly around Sonic as he dashes about. Then, as the light around Sonic fades, the ghosts begin to transform from its initial cute appearance into a more menacing and angry looking apparition. Eventually, as things get pitch black, the ghosts grow so aggressive, they sprout claws and actively chase down Sonic, trying to kill him. The only way to stop these spirits from pursuing Sonic is to find T-Bars around the stage and yank on them to restore the light to your surroundings. This stage terrified many kids at the time of its release and still has the power to cause anxious players to panic to this day. This is an interesting stage to include on this list, as it isn't actually available in the retail version of Sonic 2. Instead, it has been recreated and can be found within Sonic 2 Long Version, a hack of the original game, and can be accessed by dipping into the level select menu. During the development of Sonic the Hedgehog 2, there was a variation on Metropolis City Zone being developed, and this was known as Genocide City Zone. As the name fittingly alludes, the stage is set in a gloomy city ruin. Lightning claps in the background as an eye-shaped moonscape stares down upon us. But creepiest of all, if you access this hacker recreated secret stage, you will see human skeletons hanging from the walls and menacing giant faces with their eyes lit up appearing from buildings behind Sonic. The entire vibe of this stage is oppressive and weird, and there is good reason it was never finished and included in the original Genesis version of the game. While this isn't readily available anymore, unless you choose to modify the PC version of the game that is, the original Dreamcast version of Sonic Adventure contained a patch released during October of 1999. This update transformed the magical Twinkle Park into something pretty creepy and ghoulish, adding in spooky looking jack-o'-lanterns and graffiti all over the park. It isn't super scary, but it is a little creepy and especially took many by surprise upon its original release, adding a touch of horror to an otherwise decidedly non-creepy Sonic environment. You'll notice a few different stages from Sonic Adventure 2 on this list, because oddly it contains a fair amount of creepy moments. One of players' biggest fears in video games comes from underwater stages and the fear of drowning, much like in real life. Sonic Adventure 2's Aquatic Mind segment plays on this fear to create a truly creeptastic Sonic stage, or should I say, Knuckles stage. In this mission, Knuckles must locate the missing emeralds and to do this, venture into the flooded underwater mines. But by doing this, players run the risk of getting lost in the maze-like tunnels and drowning. That infamous drowning music of course pops up to scare us too. Not to mention the spooky carvings found on walls around these mines, and some genuine jump scares we encounter in the form of ghosts, who literally materialise right in front of Knuckles at the worst possible time. 
For many players, especially young ones, this stage remains one of Sonic Team's most terrifying creations to date. Much like Sonic 3's Sandopolis Zone, Sonic Mania took the concept of racing against the clock and used it as a mechanic to freak out the player. In this modern take on the classic Sonic formula, the blue blur finds himself in a toxic industrial landscape, flooded by an oil polluted ocean which is deadly if we fall beneath its surface. Not only is this stage unnerving because of the constant risk of death if we accidentally mistime a jump and fall into the oil below, but it also cranks up that feeling of anxiety by forcing Sonic to reach valve handles in order to ventilate his toxic surroundings. If you don't ventilate in time, then Sonic is quickly drained of his rings, making him completely defenseless as he tries to make it out of this hellish environment. Not particularly scary, but certainly more nerve-wracking than most other Sonic stages out there. What is it about skeletal remains that instantly sends a chill down our spines? Perhaps the association with death. Whatever the reason, Sonic and the Secret Rings includes a stage which takes great advantage of this creepy imagery. Skeletal Dome is set in and around an enormous graveyard, featuring skeletons from both giant dragon-like creatures and humans alike. Sonic even surfs around a giant spinal cord in one sequence. As well as this, Skeletal Knights reanimate and attack Sonic as he speeds past. Eventually, Sonic discovers the eerie tomb of King Solomon, and the stage ends. After entering a sinister looking mansion, Sonic, Tails and Knuckles soon encounter a host of creepy things inside. The walls are lined with skulls, in fact these skulls even appear on the doors to the mansion itself. While the enemies start off as the usual Robotnik style robots, they eventually make way for evil looking pumpkins, skeletons and ghosts as the trio leave the mansion and enter the haunted caves below, even entering a limbo like alternate dimension at one point. As well as this we encounter the skeletal remains of a giant human which Sonic and friends must climb to escape. This stage is full of weird moments and carries an unnerving atmosphere. Check out the creepy opening to the stage music too. While Pumpkin Hill doesn't have particularly creepy music, it more than makes up for it with pretty much everything else. The sky is a hazy shade of red, as is the environment itself. Pumpkins with crooked smiles carved into their faces are found everywhere, and giant pumpkin rock formations loom over us in the distance. Rocks carved into human skulls spew out long plumes of fire, and trees with ghastly faces carved upon them litter the barren environment. There is constant fear of falling from these mountains into a bottomless pit below. The atmosphere is foreboding, and visually it's genuinely unsettling at times. A phantom train flies around Knuckles as he explores, and enemies range from robotic tanks to boo-like ghosts, which once again jumpscare the player. But the real kicker to this stage is the gameplay itself. Knuckles constantly must put himself in harm's way to dig up hidden emeralds, and this proves to be both nerve-wracking and frustrating in equal measure. And that just about wraps things up at this look at creepy stages found within Sonic games. Of course there are others out there and perhaps you'd care to list them off in the comments section below, but to my mind the stages listed in this video are the creepiest and most unusual to be found in Sonic games over the years, many remaining creepy to this day. And that's it for today's video, please remember to give it a like if you did enjoy watching, and maybe drop a comment too, as well as subscribing to the channel, and turning on notifications so you never miss an upload. This channel specialises in variety horror content, including creepypasta readings, horror gaming facts and theories, 
and general interest pop culture horror videos. So, if you are interested in all things spooky, you'll find something to enjoy here at Super Horror Bro. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next video.